Hello beautiful people of the interwebs, welcome back to Azales TV, this is part 27 of the electromechanical clock build. Today we are doing a little bit of fine tuning and stuffs. So this part, let's dig right down into it. So here we are back again, I really wanted to do the front glass today but I can't find anywhere that does acrylic sheets in anything other than small A4 size bits like this or gigantic pieces so I'm going to have to order something online to try and make a window for the front of this so this week I'm going to be slightly altering this circuit to put an enable switch in there for managing the power and I'm going to try and be reprogramming this to make the servos run a bit smoother the last power circuit and boost regulator combination thing I had went here and it's a big red one and that failed quite spectacularly and the battery too took the battery with it that had a little switch like, like a little jumper like this which i could disconnect the boost converter so i could disconnect that and there's no power like that going to the boost converter at all but at the moment if it's disconnected this this is just the output of the boost converter the battery is still plugged into the input so i'm going to be soldering in a small switch another pin jumper and it's going to go up here somewhere which separates this battery from the boost converter with a little enable circuit. That will mean if I'm working on the clock or I need to power it down for several days because I'm doing things to it, I'm not going to be slowly draining the battery through this boost converter when it's doing nothing whatsoever. So let us start by hooking this out with the old ho and soldering in an enable pin. I've got to trace these pins out. Oh, I think it's that one and that one. That's good. Here we go. Fantabulous. Should about to get a switch there just nicely with two connectors. I think it's this one and this one actually. Be fairly straightforward. Now if you're wondering what this is for, this is for another video for another project entirely. In fact I'm actually making a second YouTube channel. Some of you know what this is. But that's a discussion for a later video, not this one. In fact, if you know what this is. Leave a comment down below, I'm interested. Here's a clue. Huh? Yeah. But enough shenanigans for now, we have soldering to do. So let's get some parts and heat up the soldering iron. Pin jumpers from Maplin. And a three-way pin header broke off three by accident because I have no fingernails so I can't get right in there Trim my fingernails so I'm nice and presentable for the camera mm. I should only need one of these unless things go really really badly what colour do you reckon? I think yellow That works. Should have done that to start with. Now I should be able to ju just bridge the ground and enable pin with this like that. But I shall check the data sheet because I don't want to blow the arse out of another boost converter battery thingy. Because they're not particularly cheap and I can't get hold of them very quickly. So let's look at the data sheet properly. Yeah, here we go. I'll just ground the enable pin and that turns it off. Perfect. Perfect. 
So that's that done. With this switch plugged in, this circuit is disabled, so the boost converter receives no power whatsoever. The battery plugged into here won't discharge or by itself, and everything is fine. That probably begs the question we don't need this anymore. But I've kept this here to isolate the boost converter output of this from the input of this circuit here, the microcontroller, and everything else. That way, if I need to power it through this port for programming it, it doesn't interfere with this. I can completely separate the power supplies. Let's put it all back together again. Here, oh boy. Okay, so the circuit is in place and it all works great. If I unplug the. It's really a disabled pin because of the way it's hooked up. If I unplug that. Everything powers back up again. Power goes from there into the boost converter, from the boost converter to the circuitry here. Powers everything. Plugging it in shuts off the circuit which disables the boost converter so nothing from here leaks and this doesn't run down now i have call this video pretty short because it's already wednesday afternoon and i really wanted to put this out yesterday but i've been very very busy with stuff got a few projects in the pipeline more on that in a future video i'll do a vlog thing and tell you what i've been up to it involves a second youtube channel so look out for that Next week I'm going to be doing a tear down to give me a break from the clock and everything else while I amass materials to build the window frame. Either glass or perspex depending on what I can get hold of. I've got to get out somewhere and um, see if I can get something. So that gives me a break from the clock for a bit and it gives me a bit more time for other projects and stuff and other videos I've got to do for other things. But you'll see those soon enough. So for now thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all next week sometime. So stay tuned, I've got a few, being, a few things I'm sorting out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks again, take care and bye bye.